Welcome back everyone. Today we're continuing our journey through dental materials, picking up from where we left off, elasticity and viscoelasticity. But this time we're going to dive into two more interesting topics, creep and stress relaxation. Creep and stress relaxation are um, something that are that is really important to understand in dental materials. In our last lecture, by the way, we explored how materials can behave like springs and dash pods and how they recover from applied loads. Today, we're going to see how these materials change shape over time. Let's start with creep first. Creep is like that slow, gradual stretch you see in a rubber band under a constant weight. Imagine you have a rubber band and you hang a small weight on it. Over time, it starts to stretch more and more. The key difference between creep and flow is the pace and the amount of change. Creep happens when you have a relatively small deformation due to a large persistent force over an extended period. On the other hand, flow involves a more significant deformation occurring more rapidly with a smaller force. Now let's move to stress relaxation. This is like a relaxation break for materials under constant strain. Imagine you're squeezing a stress ball and instead of staying equally firm, it gets softer with time. It does, right? Sometimes. While both Creep and stress relaxation experiments can help us classify materials when it comes to practical dentistry. Creep tests take the spotlight. They're straightforward and offer insights into how materials change shape under stress. In a creep test, you apply a constant load to a dental material specimen. This could be like a dental crown under a constant biting force. We then watch how the material gradually changes shape over time. Now, here's an example, a very common example that you must have heard of, dental amalgam. When we apply a constant force like chewing, dental amalgam can undergo creep. It slowly deforms, which is thought to be a precursor to cracks or fractures around the filling edges. Stress relaxation, however, isn't a big deal in most dental applications. It's more like a laboratory tool rather than a real world dental concern. We're not usually subjecting dental materials to constant strains. So remember, creep is like the rubber band that stretches over time, while stress relaxation is like the stress ball that gets softer as you squeeze it, okay? Thanks for joining me in this interactive session. If you found these concepts clearer with our everyday examples, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep learning and stay curious. Until our next lecture, this is Dr. Sheikh signing off.